Good morning and welcome to ALW Exploration. An interesting lock gate mechanism there. Now that is stopping the River Humber coming down into this waterway here. This region is low lying against the Humber estuary. This is the Cayingham Gravity Outfall Drain. Water from the Humber can stop the outfall if the tide is high, causing flooding upstream. A pumping station has been proposed to assist this gravity drain system to reduce a future flooding risk. We're now going to look at the engineering behind this gravity outfall. Keep watching as we find something very interesting that many will not have seen for a lot of years. Kingham Drain Outfall. And that is the River Humber. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a DFDS ferry there, which is freight, it's a freighter. So we've got a big lock gate here. Got some swans. There's not quite enough water for it. Not quite enough water for them, so they're having to like trudge the way through. Sadly, it's sad to seem like that, but I'm sure they'll be fine. There's no pollution in there; it's just water and bits of bits off farms, you know, straw and stuff. I was going to go down there, but I don't want to scare the swans, so I'll leave that for a bit. Is that a pillbox? Yeah, it's got the opening underneath. Oh, nice. This home guard position was likely built from locally available materials in or just after May 1940. I can't see what you're seeing. But, uh, that's where the doorway was. And it's uh, got signs of where it was painted. Inside, they used to paint the inside of these white so it reflected any light that was in there. Any light was reflected. Um, yeah, so any light that was in there at all, because obviously it was blackout, put that light out and all that, as uh, the ARP warden on Dad's Army used to say. That was real. They did have to sit there with the lights off. Total darkness, and just get on with it, really. Uh, then your night vision kicked in anyway, so you could actually see out to sea. Well, just worth looking at whilst we're here. I'm going to get the drone up now and get some nice footage. Let's go. Take off. We're concentrating on the gravity outfall lock in this part. World War II heavy anti-aircraft artillery battery coming up later. Sit back and enjoy. Stay tuned.
sorry about that, had a slight technical outage then. The gimbal just turned itself off, just off, and then you just slip down like you did. But yeah, like I was saying, there's Haley's Fort and Haley's Sand Fort out in the Humber estuary, near the mouth, near Span Point, and they used to sling anti-submarine nets between Span Point and the first, sorry, Bull Sands Fort and Haley's Fort. So from Spurn Point to Bull Sands Fort and then across to Hurley's Fort and then across to Grimsby. So submarines couldn't get in. Now, they did used to open them. And up at Scapa Floor, this system that Winston Churchill did say, there's a floor in that, a submarine could get in. When you're opening the submarine nets for like 20 minutes to let a warship in, submarine can just sit and loiter and then come in with them. That did happen and the Royal Oak and other ships got sunk up in Scapa Floor, so a bit flawed, so they had these they knew it was a flawed system but you had to just do what you could do so they had these pillboxes for observation and machine gunning purposes there we are, one pillbox we're going to go have a look at this now I'm just going down this side to have a look at it but look at that cloud up there that big swirly cloud doesn't that look cool that's from Scunthorpe Steelworks that one. There's another one over there. That's from Drax Power Station. That's a coal-fired and biomass thermal power station. Sheffield Steelworks. Correction. Scunthorpe Steelworks. And that is Immig Immingham Chemical Plants over there. And the port of Immingham. Now we're just going to go back down and have a look at this sluice gate. Now Paul tells me this will have been installed when the canal closed two barges in 1867. This is a bit safer. That side's covered in mud and it's real slippy. So if we come over have a look here, you can see the plaque from the builders. Sandstone plaque. And that reads, Kingham Level Drainage. This sluice was erected in the year 1867 by Edward Lorimer, George Cole Francis, Robert Wise, John Richardson, Edward Thomas Oldfield, God, Godfrey Richard Park, James Oldham, William Sissons, Commissioners, and the General general clerk to the common engineers contractors there we are there's that sluice gate system and it's got these these gates down here to control the amount of water flow out of the drain uh, and into the drain that's actually at the minute that's letting water in to keep a decent water level then when the tide goes out it'll let the water back out again just to control it rather than the tidal surges every six hours in and out in and out because it washes all the banks away if they keep it constant it's better and safer but look at this view that's pretty spectacular we're getting all the reflections off the uh, clouds as well right so what we're doing now is we're going to an anti-aircraft position from the second world war it's quite a large position. So we've got the domestic site looks like it's no longer here. But the operational site certainly still is. The height finder platform there. Yeah, it says height finder platform. That's what that is. They used to have a machine on there. And there's one of the guns as fitted. Stone Creek Heavy Anti-Aircraft Artillery Battery was completed in 1941 and remained engaged in regular anti-aircraft contacts throughout the Second World War. This gun battery was positioned to protect the city of Hull. The last raid on Hull happened on the 17th of March 1945. At this late stage in the war, with Germany close to defeat, most civilians assumed the raids were over. The raid hit many homes and the Savoy Cinema, which resulted in 12 civilians killed and a further 22 injured. 
These were the last civilian casualties of the Luftwaffe in a piloted aircraft. A memorial now stands outside the former Savoy Cinema. Here are some Allied aircraft recognition pictures painted within a crew control room inside Stone Creek Battery. The land is now privately owned and is designated as a scheduled monument. Here a numbered rail remains as a reminder of the disciplined and controlled environment this once was. So we're on the riverbank now, walking along, and we're alongside the anti-aircraft position. Let's take a look. Yeah, see one of the gun emplacements there through the trees. They're in good condition. Yeah, well, that one isn't. They smashed no. that one up for some reason. I reckon, they've, I reckon they've started demolishing this and someone told them to stop it. Yes, it's possible. So that's part demolished. Yeah, because there was a lot more here when I first came. I think they're getting rid of it bit by bit, you know. Won't blow my socks off. That's in, that is in really good condition. Mm. I think it's this one, with the drawings inside. Yeah, Paul's telling me about there's some drawings of British aircraft on the walls. Uh, I'd really like to see those and get the footage for you guys, if we can get across. There used to be a little bridge, Paul tells me, to Troll. get in. Troll Bridge, mm -hmm. he calls it. <laughs> but there's one of the fire control positions there. And the command positions behind it. Starting to get some better views of it from here. There's the back of one of the magazines. That looks like a fire control position. And then the actual gun emplacements are just over there. So this is Troll Bridge. It's not looking in the best condition. And I don't really fancy climbing over it with my camera and my drones in my backpack and There'd be a lot to get wet and a lot that wouldn't survive it. But <laughs> even me, because it's obviously very cold and that is very deep. Paul tells me this was dredged recently, so it'll be nice and deep. So that is the anti aircraft gun position. That is the Trolls Bridge, and it is very, very rickety. I'm Andy from ALW Exploration. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell, and like the video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Looking over my shoulder, looking back at your door. In my head, it goes over and over. Should I leave?